Hey, shalom brothers and sisters, welcome back. Today I want to do a book review, and uh, this is a set of books. It's four books. And um, I just want to, I want to endorse them because, I, you know, studied them, read them through, and I like them and everything. And uh, the author is Stephen M. Collins, and uh, he wrote a four-piece thing on the uh, Ten Tribes of Israel, the Lost Ten Tribes of Israel. You know, their past, what they went through, and where they are today. And it's been proven where the Ten Lost Tribes are right now, of course. And uh, first book I'm going to show you is The Origins and Empire of Ancient Israel. This is the first one right here. This is just a history, the history of Israel and what went on, you know, like from, you know, Exodus and uh, then uh, the United Kingdom, Divided Kingdom, things like that. And uh, and on the back here, got uh, pictures of archaeology, uh, pictures, of course, you know, it's currently going on and what they found so far. And uh, second one is... The second book, part two, is Israel's Lost Empires, and he discusses uh, he discusses uh, different empires after after they left Israel and were taken in the Assyrian captivity. After that, where they went, you know, there's different places where these pockets of Israelites went, and they built their own kingdoms, but they were under different names, of course. So that's number two. Number three. Is one of the kingdoms they found that actually rivaled Rome. Rome never beat them. Rome tried to pick fights with them, but Parthia, Parthia was the ones that put them back, put them in their place. This book, part three, is Parthia, the Forgotten Ancient Superpower and its Role in Biblical History. And it's right here. This is book three, and I'm telling you, you know, a lot of people don't don't think about this and. Uh, Scholars, a lot of scholars, they ignore the facts about the ten lost tribes of Israel. You know, like, uh, you know, the Scots, the Irish, and the Brits, you know. They they like to study, it's, it's kind of weird, they like to study more about Egypt and uh, Babylon and stuff like that than their actual own heritage, you know. I don't know, There's there might be a reason behind that, a sinister reason why they don't want to look into their own past, but, you know, history books from the... Uh, history books, folklore, myths, and stuff like that. You know, they can they confirm who they are, who we are, and where the ten lost tribes of Israel is. But yeah, this is the book number. This is the third book right here, and and I enjoyed this because I knew a little bit about you know the kingdom of Parthia, and after this I did read other books about Parthia, and uh, their kings were in the in the line of David, King David. They were like uh descendants that were kings the royal line and um the last one is israel's tribes today and this is the final one where they ended up and uh of course you know you can see the pictures you know pictures right there saying where they ended up and Bibli biblical scripture you know the you know, they back this, they support this and back it up as long as, you know, with archaeology and, you know, things like that. Archaeology proves it, you know, and proves where they are. But these books, yeah, these, I, I encourage you to get these books. And, uh, you know, you could you could get them on, uh, you know, look on Amazon or you could just look up, look up Stephen M. Collins. Because, see, I got these books. I got these books from him personally. And he, uh. He, he autographed a couple of them for me and gave me a note saying thank you and for your interest and everything like that. But look up Stephen M. Collins, the author of these books. And, uh, you know, I, I can't remember how much each one cost. I'm not sure if it was $25. I can't remember. But if you want to get them, you know, used ones, you go to Amazon or eBay or somewhere and probably get them cheap, you know, to be used. But but these are books. I'm, I'm you know, endorsing these and these books are worth it. And uh, and also, Mr. Collins is also a friend with uh, Yair Davidy, who who's did did studies in the Ten Lost Tribes of Israel, and I've did a book review on him and his books too. Fabulous, outstanding work, you know. And um, this truth needs to be told, and it's it's being pushed under the rug, so to speak, for 
some odd reasons. Maybe maybe the evolutionists, atheists, don't want, want us to know who we are or where we came from. You know, they just want us to go and dig up old rocks and bones in Egypt or, you know, Mesopotamia area or somewhere. But, you know, this, this you know, this ain't, this you know, this study and this might be down a little bit, but there are still many, many people that are interested in learning who that who they are and where they came from. And it's very important. But like I said, I, I, I encourage you to, if you're a reader and you love scripture and you love archaeology and stuff like that and want to learn your heritage, you know, you know, the United States, Canada, you know, the Irish, Scottish, Brits, Australians, New Zealand, uh, South South Africa and them, the 10 lost tribes of Israel. And a lot of them don't know who they are because that's what, you know, Joseph's son, Manasseh, Manasseh means forgetfulness. So, and, and we, as a people, we usually forget things. We don't, we don't learn from history. We forget about it and we repeat it, you know, but anyways, I encourage you to get this book. And if you, if you already have it or you're going to get it and you read it and everything, comment below, let me know what you think about it. And um, that's all I want to say about that. And I thank you again. And, you know, please give me the thumbs up with likes and uh, hit the notification bell. And and I could use the su su subscribers and everything. So, hey, with that said and done, I thank you again for joining me. Until we meet again, peace out and shalom.